Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to do nerf, instant nerf from NVIDIA on custom images. So basically, I just went out, captured a bunch of like videos with my phone. So we can basically just use our phone. We can go around, capture images or videos. You can basically like both pass in both videos and also images. But I basically have like a couple of videos that we can go through and try to do this like custom instant nerf generation. So we can actually like reconstruct our environments. If you want to know more about like the details about Nerve, how it works, how to set it up and so on, I have videos about that here on the channel. You can basically go, just go in and find it. I'll show you how we can actually like download everything so you can run the exact same commands as we do in this video here. I also have a video about the, the Nerve paper. So we basically go over the results, the method that they use. We talk about like how it act like generating these nice uh, reconstructions of different kind of like optics and environments. Uh, how would I act like doing it down on a theoretical level. So in this video here, we're basically just going to use some examples with some custom images. So let's just jump straight into it. First of all, I'm going to open up an Anaconda prompt so we can basically just pay, paste in these different kind of like commands. So first of all here, I'm just inside my user directory. First of all, we need to run a Python file. I'll just show you to start with the different kind of like videos. So in this example, I have four videos when we actually like pass it through these commands here that I have. Uh, then it will actually like generate these images or it will extract the images from the video. Then we're going to do some feature map matching with the call map. So basically we're just finding features in the images and then we can actually like match all those features together. So this is basically how we would do like standard uh, 3D reconstruction based on 2D images. But again, this method here is really nice. The quality and just like the, the, the acts like the accuracy on the renderings that we get at the end is just a really high um, accuracy and quality. But basically, again, we just take 2D images. You can just go out, take your phone, uh, walk around, like capture like uh, some videos of the environment. Or if you just want to like create a 3D model of, of a specific object, you can basically just like um, take a video of that or take a couple of images and then do the exact same steps as we're going to do uh, throughout this video here. Basically, I have four videos here. We're going just going to test one of them and then we're actually like, just going to run it. We'll train our model on it and then we can actually like, reconstruct uh, and render the environment afterwards. Basically, these are the images here that it will extract from the video. But first of all here, let's actually just type in commands that we actually like, need to first extract the, the, um, the images from the video, then use call map to do the feature extraction. And then after that, when we have all of those different things, so the transformation between all the cameras, we want to find the position of all the cameras as I also explained um, in the video where we go over the Nerf paper. Uh, so basically we have two images we want to find uh, the, uh, the transformations between the different kind of like images so how are the cameras related to each other we find the 3d points and then we basically just do a, re a 3d reconstruction on that they will also use the density function but i won't cover that in details i have a video about that um, if you want to know more details down on a more like uh, theoretical level so first of all here we're just going to use python and then we go inside my uh, user directory with my instant ngp so they will basically be my C directory. And we basically just go inside that. So we go inside my users directory and then my own one. And then I have a folder called instant npg or ngp. And then here inside ngp, we basically have these scripts. So this folder here will be generated if you follow the video on how to act like install instant nerf from NVIDIA um, in my other video. And then you will actually like get this folder. You will get all the scripts here. So you can basically just uh, do and run these commands as I'm going to do. We are basically just going to run two commands. So one for the feature extraction and then a second one for act like training the model in the, uh, in the DUI that we saw in the last video as well. So inside of scripts here, I'm just going to have more scripts here. And then inside that we have something called call map. So this is basically like the framework or like um, the algorithm that is going to use to actually like extract the features in the images, then call map to nerf. So we're basically just going to do a conversion of that. And that is a Python file. Then we need to specify the video directory. So we have video underscore in. So this is the input directory uh, for our videos. We can also type in another command for images if you just have a folder with images. But again, it's just easier. Just take a video of an object or, environment or an environment that you actually like want to reconstruct. So basically here, I'm just going to type out the path again. Then after we specify the path to the video, we're also going to specify the number of uh, frames per second in our video. So we have video underscore FPS. And then we're going to specify the number of frames per second we actually like want to extract from our video. 
So here we're just going to extract two frames per second in our video. We should actually like have around like uh, 50 to 100 images uh, to have a really nice render of our environment or the object that we want to uh, reconstruct. And then we're going to run a command here called run underscore call map as well, because we want to do the feature extraction first of all on the axe like video. And then we also have something called AABB scale. And this is just like a standard parameter that you just set. Uh, and this is actually like just a default parameter. So we should just six set it to 16. And now we actually have everything. We specify our Python file here. So the call map to nerf Python file. So we can do the conversion. We can extract all the images in our uh, video. And then we've just find out the relation between all the images, find the features, find like the camera positions and so on. And then we use bundle adjustments or actually like correct for our um, our poses, camera poses, and then we can do this reconstruction with the nerf uh, method. Then we specify the video in, so the path to our video, specify the number of frames per second, and then we're just going to run call map. Here I'm just going to hit enter, and then first of all it will ask us that this image folder here that I just showed you inside my uh, directory will actually like be de deleted or replaced, because we basically just throw in a video and then extract the images from the video based on the number of frames per second, and then it's going to use that folder later on to actually like do uh, the reconstruction with the instant nerf method. So again, if you don't have a video and you just have like uh, image files, you can basically just go in and directly use uh, those images instead of extracting the video as I'm doing here. So we're just going to hit Y, enter, and then it will actually like do this uh, feature extraction. It also have this folder for the call map parts and the call map text. And here we're just going to delete or replace that as well. So we're going to hit Y, enter. Now we can see that is actually like doing the feature extraction. Uh, here it's basically just processing files. We can also go down to the task manager and see how it performs. So right now it's using like 100% of the CPU. So for this specific task here, it is basically going to use like mostly the CPU. And then when we're going to run the nerf, it will go down and act like utilize the GPU, especially because we're using the instant uh, instant NGB from NVIDIA. So we have an NVIDIA GPU and then it's going to like make the training way, way faster. So here we can see that it is matching all the images. So we have 87 images. Now it's basically just doing all the feature map matching and it is also doing bundle adjustment in, in between them. So here we can see that we have this bundle adjustment report uh, and then it's basically just doing like all the, the calculations here for the global bundle adjustment. It is basically just refining and correcting the poses and also like the 3D and the 2D points of our uh, from our images. If we just scroll down to the bottom, then after it should actually like take some time here, depending on how many images you have and also your CPU. So now it's done extracting all the features and doing the actual like global bundle adjustment. So now we can see that it is writing this transform.json file. So this is basically the file that we need to go into our test bench and actually like train our uh, model now based on these images that we have. So this transform.json would actually like just contain like all the information that we need in our in our uh, test bench. And then we can actually like go in, train our neural network on these images and the video that we just uh, threw into this command. So now we actually have everything. We can see that we have 87 frames. So like the optimal uh, optimal number of frames is actually like something between like 70, 80 up to like 100 uh, images. If you get over that and you have high resolution images, it will take like a lot of time uh, to actually like train your models. And if you don't like have enough images uh, in your data set here, it might not be able to actually like reconstruct your, uh, your object or your scene. Uh, at least not with high accuracy and you won't really get some good results. So again, just depending on like how long your video uh, is, just choose the number of frames per second based on that. Uh, so you will get around like 80 frames to actually like do this processing. So now we can run the last command here. It is basically just, first of all, I'll just need to CD into the instant NGP directory. So now we're inside this folder. Here we're just going to like uh, have the dir command so we can see what's inside my directory. Then we actually like has something called this test bed inside of our build. So basically we're just going to call this the command. So we have build and then we have something called a test bed. So we will basically just run this program that acts like trains our model. Then we also need to specify our mode. So the mode, mode that we actually want to use is nerf. So this is the instant nerf method that we're going to use. And then we also need to specify our scene. So these are the only things that we actually like need to specify. Again, I'm just going to specify my directory. So it's inside my C directory, inside the users, inside my own one. And then we have instant in GP. 
So this is basically the directory where I have to transform the JSON file. We specify where, uh, like we just run this testbed, uh, testbed command. The mode, we want to run nerf, and then we just specify the scene. We can just hit enter and it will act like open up the GUI. So now we're ready to run our test bed. We're going to see some really nice results. I'm just going to hit enter and it will open up the interface. So here we can see the interface and it will act like start the training. Here we can just zoom out. Uh, here I'm just going to zoom in. So this is the act like scene that we want to uh, reconstruct. I'm just going to zoom a bit more in. Going to take a top view so we can actually see the training over time. So this is basically like the whole environment. We can just see that right now we already have a structure. We actually want to have some structure like inside of these um, uh, metal ones here. So this is actually like a playground, a kid's playground. Now we can see we get some really nice details. So this is actually like a really nice, um, nice rendering that we're going to do of the environment. We just get more and more details. We can see like the training graphs up here at the top. So we have a loss graph. It is just decreasing over time. We can play around with like the bat size. Uh, we can also play around with the DLLS. Uh, we can set up the sharpening here a bit. So we can actually like, set up the sharpening of our uh, DLLS. So this is um, so this is just for like making these higher quality renderings. Again, we can still see that our loss graph is still uh, decreasing. So it hasn't converged yet. Now we actually like, start to get a really nice reconstruction of our environment. If we just go inside the image folders, we can then see the images that it has extracted from the video. So this is the actually uh, this is actually like the environment that we want to reconstruct. I'm just going to go through a number of images. So I basically just had the playground. I just took my phone, capture a video, uh, walking around it, and then we basically just capture these like uh, 100, 150 images. Um, again, you can just specify the number of images that you want to use. But again, we can see all these details here. These are the exact details that we're starting to get. Uh, when we're actually like looking at our rendering with instant nerf and it only takes like seconds to actually like train right now It has trained for one two minutes um, and we get these really nice results If we just take a look at the last graph, it is still slightly decreasing over time. So we're just going to uh, Let it run a bit more. So these are basically like the images again We just take a video we just throw it into this instant NGP here and we get these really nice uh, renderings of our environment. So this is basically just training a model. We can even like see the background here. We get a lot of details, even though we we, we captured like our, our video of this object. We can still see we have some trees in the background, a car here, and like the structure here behind uh, the playground is also accurate. So this is act like the environment um, around it. We have some trees over here to the left um, as well. But again, this is a really, really nice rendering here. We're just zooming up closer. Again, we can just like keep zooming in and we can just see like the quality of our renderings again based on like only 2d images uh, from our phone you can just you can basically just like reconstruct like whatever environment or like whatever object that you want just throw it into here like take a video just throw it in with these commands that i just did and then we can get these really nice results we can also try to go down and do some like rendering options with the nerf one here or we can go down and actually set it up for a snapshot. So as we can see now, our loss graph has actually um, kind of like convert. We can try to like play around with bat size and see if we can get slightly better results. But I think we are actually like convert with the number of images and the, the environment that we have in this example. Again, we can just see the details. We can see the colors. Um, if you just zoom out here a bit, now we will get a bit of noise. But here we can see that this is actually like a really nice rendering. We still have like this circle here around the playground. We can just zoom in. We still get the nice details. We have this green object thing here. We also have the rope, uh, the spider web uh, at the playground as well with really high details. Like we even get like, even though like some of these web uh, web like fields here are occluded in some of the images, it just reconstructed by actually like, looking at all the images combined from our video. Nice renderings. You can use it for a lot of other different kind of applications. You can use it for reconstructing like objects, creating some object, uh, 3D objects, reconstruct like whole environments, try to reconstruct your room, your living room, um, your bedroom, something like that. Try to see what you can come up with and then like throw it in the comments if you get some really nice results and also like of what environment. You can use this like outdoor, you can use it indoor. Maybe you can just take your apartment or your house, try to do a reconstruction of like a whole scene here. I just took like kind of like a scene object thing. So with this playground, but you can actually like reconstruct whole environments with this instant nerf. Here we see that the loss still decreases a bit, but again, these, these are some really nice results. It's just really unbelievable. 
it's actually like mind blowing that we can get these results by just taking our phone, go outside, go into your room, like capture a video, throw it in here, just paste in two commands into uh, your command prompt and it will actually like generate these really nice 3D reconstructed scenes. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to the subscribe button and bell notification on the video. Also like this video if you like the content and if you want more in the future, we're definitely going to cover like Nerf, Instant NGP and all those different kinds of things way more. We're going to try some other examples where we're actually like creating like large environment, also like smaller like objects. So just specific objects, we want to create some really high detail 3D models of that. I also have tutorials about like computer vision, deep learning and all those different kind of things. If you want to know the basics of that, I'll link to one of them up here or else I'll just see you next video guys. Bye for now.